Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing um, things I'm thankful for. So, I don't really know the name of the like, video yet, but I'll come up with that. Um, but it's Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So, you guys have seen this right after I filmed it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still like a little sick. That's why I didn't really. Oh no, I did post. <laughs> I didn't. Um. But this is just like a video saying the things I'm grateful for and why. So let's get started. I don't know why I did that. There's a transition. But, um, I'm gonna start with people. I, there's always three like, things I'm grateful for, but I think this just has to do with the people. So we're gonna be talking about people I'm grateful for. So first off, the person people that made me exist the fabulous the, the, the fabulous me i'm just kidding not having myself up um but my parents um my parents are the reason like i have the life i do they have always wanted the best for me and still do to this day um obviously you're gonna have fights with your parents and honestly, completely honestly, I don't get in fights like that. I don't remember an argument I have with my parents. My parents love me so much and I'm so grateful for that. Cause I know, like I have friends that have like family issues and all that. Um, But my parents are amazing to me and my siblings. They have raised us to be great individuals. They have really shaped us into who we are today. Um, they have shown me to never give up on what I believe in. And currently, being a high school and senior, they have actually helped so much. Not like finan like obviously they help financially, like with like senior activities, but more on my mentality. They make sure I'm fine. And every time I open college acceptance letters, because I've gotten a few already, um, they're there because they know, even though it wasn't a college I planned to, I feel like I lessened myself, so they're always there with me to make sure that I am proud of myself if I get accepted or not. And I'm really grateful for that. Personally, I consider myself spoiled. And that's a very harsh term to use, spoiled. I'm not that spoiled brat on online but my parents have raised me with everything i needed and more like so much more like i could talk about my parents for hours but i don't want to bore you guys <laughs> but my parents are very important people in my life and i love them very much and i'm super grateful for everything that they do for me so i am thankful for my parents and to continue with that is my brother's my brothers are a main reason for my anger issues and my like my laughter my happiness like my brothers just are honestly one of the best people in the world they have demonstrated to me what true love is with their girlfriends and that they have shown me that i should never lower myself for a man like they could be the most attractive man in the world but i don't need them they could be the most attractive and treat me like crap i don't need them they could be amazing but yet they do one thing i shouldn't have to deal with stuff like that my brothers themselves spoil me as well and they really are amazing um they are very annoying as well but overall i do love them they are my brothers and just in my family in general guys um we're a very united family i'd say we have one day dedicated like you can't go out that day we're spending family quality time and yeah it's like i think growing up with my brothers has like really showed me 
what men look like. Like I'm not. <laughs> Ew, this is so ugly. I should not be hyping him up. Hyping him up. I I seriously love my brother. They spoil me like seriously. Like for my birthday, they got me a lot of gifts. For Christmas, they buy me everything I want. Just in general, they buy me everything. Like <coughs> me, I'm a Starbucks addict. My brother. Um, I always threaten them. I'm like, oh, you don't want me to get a boyfriend? You should buy me Starbucks. And what do they do? They bring me Starbucks. My brothers buy me flowers. They just do things that show me I don't need any other man than my brothers and my siblings. Obviously, they want me happy. <coughs> and they're very trustworthy. Like, if I tell them to not, like, I don't think we do this a lot. But, like, oh, don't tell mom. Don't tell dad. They could keep a secret. Like, seriously. <clears throat> I am very thankful for my brothers. I love them very much. But let's not hype them up a little too much. Next, I would like to say I'm grateful and thankful for my best friend, Yesenia. Yesenia has really tr shown me what true friendship is. And, like, she really is a person I love. And she just makes me she makes me feel like comforted like i know yesenia is always gonna be there no matter what if i ever need anything i know yesenia is a text or call away and she has demonstrated that to me many times there's times where i'm struggling like recently with my my grandpa's death i i was i was struggling like it's a Thing to struggle with death is a hard thing and the person that was always there for me was Yesenia because Yesenia was always a person I know I could talk to so talking to her about that just made me feel comforted and I love her so much and I me and Yesenia could stop being friends tomorrow which will never happen <laughs> and I know I could talk to her in two years and we'll still be fine like no matter how much like, I think we could hate each other, and I could still text her and she'll answer me. But it's obviously, we, we, me and Yesenia, everyone says they have ups and downs in their friendship. Personally, I don't think me and Yesenia have had ups and downs. We've never gotten in an argument, ever. In our five years of friendship, we have not gotten in an argument. And I'm so grateful for that, because it just shows me, like, arguing with your friends don't get you anywhere. If you argue with your friends, that's something you guys need to talk about because maybe that's just me and Yesenia. We don't argue. But Yesenia is someone I truly am thankful for and I also could rant hours about her. But let's move on to Michelle. Michelle is my second closest friend. I love her so much. Michelle is like a sister to me as well as Yesenia. Michelle... Michelle's family is the like my second family, honestly. Yes, like Michelle has a big humongous family, and they all treat me like their siblings. So, and they're girls, so they really truly are the sisters I never had. They're older ones, younger ones. So I just felt like they make me feel like I'm part of their family. They don't leave me out. They're going. Like, literally, they have a party for their cousin, I don't know, who's invited me. Like, it's just simple little things. Like, oh, we're going to movies, Valerie should come. They invite me. Like, it's simple things like that. And I think that's what truly has brought in me and Michelle closer. That we both feel like we're part of each other's family. And I think I truly am grateful for Michelle and her family because they mean a lot to me. I love them. So cute. Um, not hyping on Michelle too. But Michelle is my little, I rant to her 24 seven. Like, she knows everything that's going on in my life 24 seven. If I tell you, I'm not telling you, I'm telling Michelle. Same thing with Yesenia. Yesenia, I'm telling everything to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. I'm not telling no one what you're telling me not to tell. Um, I think, obviously I love my friends all, but those are probably two of my closest friends. As well as Cassandra. Cassandra is definitely 
one of my more silly friends i love she is my movie partner the riley or <laughs> the maya to my riley we describe our friendship as chris and matt sterniola we truly are the best duo out there unstoppable for real i love her so much like we are on the phone mostly every single day for three to four hours and then knock out and then wake up and then text like our conversations are the most random but the most interesting thing ever so i seriously do appreciate cassandra and she's always there for me and she has shown that to me many times as well um i love her super much um she is the second biggest rossland supporter other than me so it's really good having a friend that you could rant to about guys too about rossland and she understands because andrew's always been there through all the guys that i've liked and all that so she knows everything as well but also let's hype up cassandra we could hype her up and give her a round of applause <laughs> the next person i am thankful for is Ban angel Ban angel is probably is the closest guy friend i have i have we have been friends for about two years we've always had this type of friendship where he bullies me and i'm just so nice not nice but like I deal with it like i don't say anything about it and i think that's what truly has brought him so close because i i see him as a brother i love that man he's for real part of my family and all those people i have named the past ones they are part of my family you send him michelle cassandra my family loves them like that's how i know they're good friends because my friends have my parents have told me friends that they don't really like of mine and i'm like and then they end up being right um, so that's this one but anyway back to ben angel um he truly is a i guess funny guy um he's always there for me too even though he seems like he's not angel's rude and everything and sarcastic but seriously when i need someone to talk to i know i can call that man and he will pick up like if i wanted to call him right now he'd enter and like let me ramble about my day or whatever i'm going through and he I have done that, like honestly, that was the night I was bawling my eyes out and I called Angel and he was on the phone with me until I was alright. And it's just, I think Angel has shown me what, like, it's a guy and girl friendship that no one needs to have feelings for each other and it's just enjoyment. Like, we, I support him and he supports me when I really need it. But he also does not support my delusions, which keeps me in reality. So, anyways, Ben Angel is great, I guess. Oh, don't hype him up, guys. Don't hype him up. Um, uh, there's obviously a little... Oh, my cousins. I am so thankful for my cousin on both sides. And my mom and my dad. I love them so much. Like, you guys can't... I can't even put words in my mouth. Like... I don't even want to start naming them because then I'm going to like not list them all and I'm going to feel terrible. But these are the ones I'm personally closest to. Camila and, Camila and Chipilino on my mom's side. They truly are hilarious. We go to not probably every two months with them. And it's always the best time. It's really, they're just so funny. And we've grown up with them ever since we were children. So it's just like, oh, let's go, you know. Next. On my dad's side, I am most closest to my cousin, Vanessa and Crystal. I love those girls so much. I am the only girl on my dad's side that lives in California, but they live in Rhode Island. I basically say New York, because I didn't know what Rhode Island was until they told me. <laughs> um, I didn't, we texted, but this year, they came down for my quince, which was amazing. We went to Vegas and all that, and that created a strong bond between us and then we would just text back online and then they came back this summer it was a great summer love them super much like so much oh, I, love them. I love them i love all my cousins like i love you guys you guys really make those parties fun and not me bored on my couch um <clears throat> Um, some friends I am also thankful for. I'm obviously not gonna name all of you guys because 
that's boring <clears throat> but i would like to thank bless bless is truly the funniest person i have ever met i love that man so much um me and bless don't have any classes this year and this is the first year we never had any classes together and it has shown me like like i knew this but this just confirmed it like me and bless don't need a talk to have that connection we have me and bless see each other in the hallways probably once a week and our sh sh like our bond is literally the same and i could feel it just saying hi bless like oh hi bless i love bless bless i love him really my gay best friend i love him he's so cute i'm blessed um also i would just like to say thank you to my club uh, i'm thankful for you guys i guess i just love everyone in my club you guys are funny and sassy men and angela you're amazing and beautiful and you're that girl so i think oh my voice i am thankful to say that i am your friend hopefully and anyone else in my club i love you guys you guys make lunch on Wednesdays way funner than it would be. Um, <gasps> um, this is a little late for you guys, but my brother's girlfriends, Chloe and Dawson, they are amazing young women that I love. Um, yeah, I love them so much. They truly are amazing. Um, they also, as well as foil me, Chloe and Joshin always will buy me my Starbucks or convince my brothers to buy me one because I was always saying I am a Starbucks addict I love those girls and they truly did my brothers bagged <laughs> they did bag like seriously I want to say how much they are like how pretty they are but like Chloe's so pretty Josh is so pretty but anyway Guys, that's the end of this video. I truly am thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for you guys watching this right now. Like, I love you guys. But, hashtag I'm thankful for all my friends. If I forgot to say your name, I'm so sorry. But, I love you. Even for my friends in the past, I am so thankful for you. But, anyways, they're calling me downstairs. My family. So, I didn't say I was filming this video because then they would be annoying about it. So, oh, don't forget to like, comment down below five people you are thankful for or else. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell for our Thanksgiving vlog, and I'll see you guys on next time. Peace out. Love you.